Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This will be your weekly four card intuitive read. If you enjoy this video, please feel free to leave behind a like or subscribe. That'd be very much appreciated. Thank you so much in advance for doing that. Let's get straight into it and see what the weekly theme is for those under the sign of Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're heavily dominated by the sign of Taurus, or if you're dealing with someone that is a Taurus, this reading may be applicable. Okay, what is the uh, what is the theme? <clears throat> what do we see for Taurus in the upcoming week? Okay, the the theme is healing. Okay. Okay, there's healing happening in a situation in the upcoming week here, Taurus. Now, this could be self-healing, healing within yourself, healing within your heart. Um, you can see this. Oh, I'm just going to zoom in. You can see this wonderful image here. You know, you've got the, the world at your center, but really, this is your world coming to healing. This is your, you know, your social circle of friends, your life, yourself, your heart, um, in a very, very powerful way here. The world is completion. The world is creation. Um, so this is absolutely beautiful to see. Some wonderful imagery in this card here, but healing is taking place within yourself or in regards to a connection you have. I'm not sure if old wounds are opening up here again for some of you, Taurus. It could be in the upcoming week. Things that were previously in darkness, maybe if you haven't had closure to a certain situation or you're wanting to find, um, you know, results or a conclusion or um, you just want answers, the answers that you seek are coming up in the, in the upcoming week. Um, the diamond is here, so it can be in relation to love. You do have the world here as the globe, so it could be an earth sign that you're wanting to heal with or perhaps an air sign here because you do have the beautiful wings the majestic wings um you know this is your world though the imagery here suggests that this is um healing that's going to make you more optimistic healing that's going to change certain circumstances for you um this could also be reconciliation reconciling with someone here um, or trying to move on from a certain situation trying to heal from past pains this could be that you're reminded of something painful um, and you might become nostalgic. It might push a button or reopen a wound, as I said, um, because wounds are created by mental, spiritual or physical trauma, um, you know, and, and someone could poke and prod at them in the, um, in the upcoming week. You might also have someone around you that's trying to help you heal. You know, this is support. There's support around you. Okay, I feel like this card wanted to come out. Ten of Pentacles. This is the notion of support and encouragement. It is a family card, so you might have family around you. There may be um, healing in a family situation if you've had uh, issues with money, um, disputes over estates, over wills, um, sibling rivalry, disconnection with parents or in-laws. The Ten of Pentacles is quite a harmonious card, um, and it's and it says that once more will you be reunited Um in what looks like a quite a busy, um, quite a fun-filled atmosphere here. So what I'm seeing here is that there is reconciliation. Now, this could also be bumping into someone that you've had past pains or past hurts with. It doesn't necessarily have to be family. Um, the Ten of Pentacles can speak of a legacy here. So this this is something you've created with someone. You're healing from a legacy Um with this person, something you've created. Now, this could also point to financial healing or revitalization in your finances and assets because the pentacles is all about owning things. It's things in the physical realm. It's things that have substance. It's things we can experience within our five senses. So it could absolutely be healing in terms of business, um, <clears throat> healing in terms of family re reconciliation, perhaps here. For some of you that are undergoing a divorce, um, or separation, um, a legal separation of some kind, the binding, the legal unbinding of two parties, perhaps. I feel like you're coming into amicable terms. So if you are searching for closure, for closure, for healing, for guidance, um, I, I do see this coming up for you uh, in the upcoming week. And it could also be with that earth sign. As I said, if you are dealing with a fellow earth sign, you know, I feel there's reconciliation and the two of you are looking to each other quite fondly here. So and I do also feel like you're, uh, there's encouragement and, and um, 
there's encouragement and support around you for whatever it is that you need to heal from. So you've got people, you've got resources, you've, you'll have people around you here. Okay, I felt like these, okay, you've got two cards here, all right. First card, Six of Pentacles, followed by the Strength card here, all right. Six of Pentacles, again, it's generosity, it's help, it's giving, it's restoring balance again. For some of you that have been imbalanced from a certain situation here, you're trying to heal, you're trying to find a happy medium, either with this person or within yourself. I almost want to say some, you may feel that someone is healing better than you or you're doing better than them um, because there's a clear distinction between these two, the, the, the two statuses here, the people that are in need, the people that are seeking help, the people that are uh, undergoing some sort of internal struggle. But then on the other side of the spectrum, you have someone that is in a better position um, in, in terms of, you know, they've mended with their feelings. Maybe they're in a better um position in terms of resources in terms of finances there's a bit of a division here there's so there could be a bit of imbalance i do think it might have to do with your your current set of circumstances here taurus um especially if it is in regards to like business or career um, or resources you may be seeking help or someone may be helping you because the strength card is here which is nurturing its guidance its leadership or you having to be strong in a certain situation But what's beautiful is, is that, you know, the scales could, it could be a Libra here for some of you, um, but it's fairness. It is a quality, which is good. This is an equal playing field for some of you. In a romantic sense, in terms of connections here, <clears throat> I do believe you're trying to heal from something here, Taurus, for a lot of you. Um... This is a possibly a connection with someone you have children with or you wanted children with. You were planning a future together. Um, now, this, you know, this could even be that if you've recently encountered some sort of imbalance in a relationship, healing is taking place in the upcoming week. Um, one of you, I'm not sure if it's you or this other person, it could be a Leo here. One of you is actually going to step up and initiate the healing. One of you is, is going to reach out to the other because this is what they want and I do think that you're on <clears throat> you're, you're you're on a path of improvement here again it could be past pains past hurts past transgressions the strength card here is mental strength um, it could point to another cycle for some of you um, there could be another relationship coming from your past here that may resurface. As I said, you might bump into each other and give things another go or it's closure in some way. Whatever it is, essentially the underlying theme is healing. So, you know, but, but to heal, we need to go through an array of emotions. We need to go through, um, you know, feeling helpless. We need to go through feeling strong. We need to go feeling empowered. We need to go through feeling... Um, you know, a bit of pride. That that's what comes with that process. The healing process is 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 so intricate and so lengthy, and you need to allow yourself to go through all of these emotions, Taurus, because you're not a robot. You know, and it's absolutely normal to feel this way if this is what you're encountering. I love that the strength card is here because this shows that you've got a lot of power. Um, you've got a lot of fierceness. And you can see that she's taming the lion. So it's either you taming your emotions, coming to terms with your emotions, taming a certain situation here, finally gaining control, finally feeling you're coming to a good place where, okay, I've healed from this, or I'm improving, or things are getting better, or I'm slowly letting go, or maybe I'm slowly, um, with this person, I'm slowly coming to a, a point where we understand each other, where we can come into abundance, where we can come into being stronger, bigger, and better than ever before. And I think for a lot of you, there's there's a high success rate. I do, because a strength card is here. And this is you having that ultimate strength. This is you having the strength to go on. This is you having the strength to give this relationship, give this go a second chance. This is you having the strength to forgive. You know, maybe this is someone asking for forgiveness, you know, because I do see someone pleading here. People are pleading. So either you're asking for forgiveness or someone else is asking for forgiveness or asking for help. 
They're begging, they're pleading. They're wanting your attention, they're wanting your affection. Look at that lion looks so lovingly towards, you know, towards this maiden. It's like this person needs you, they're depending on you, but you're depending on them. Very nice reading though, Taurus. Beautiful healing energy here uh, for some of you. Um, I hope this reading has been insightful. Please feel free to like or subscribe.